Good morning, everyone. How are you? Wow, what a wonderful crowd. All these beautiful, shiny, smiling faces. Spring is here officially. And uh, we want to thank every one of you for coming out today for Illuminated Spirit Community. This is awesome that we have such a wonderful turnout and uh, that there's such an interest here in this area for this. We love it. Um, we have a, a lot of wonderful things uh, today. Uh, Mary Jo isn't here, so I'm going to be uh, Mary Jo for a moment. And uh, <laughs> we love you, Mary Jo. things that were, that's going to be going on here at Illuminations um, this week. Uh, on April 5th, we're going to have spirit class with our own Victoria Farley. Who should you marry? Hmm, good question. <laughs> April 6th, healing, spiritual insights, and gallery event with our own Michael Lott. On April 7th, Thursday, A Course in Miracles. How many people are familiar with A Course in Miracles? Okay. I've heard of it. Okay, good, good. And if you have books, bring them. And it's going to be, it's life-changing. It really is. April 9th, we're going to have a mini psychic fair and expo with the door prize. So make sure that you register. Tell all your friends uh, to come on down. We're going to have some new readers that are going to be here. We're going to have a very special friend of ours, Elvarese Britton, that will be coming all the way from Nashville. And uh, uh, you'll just, you're just going to love her like we did, I'm sure. Okay, uh, without further ado, also uh, we'd like to remind you there are still a, a few spots. There's, three. Uh, there's how many? Three? We have three spots left for the uh, John of God crystal bed and crystal healing bed. So if you've never experienced that, it is amazing. I, words just can't express it, so I'm not even going to try. But do yourself a favor. And book session, we only have our friends Renee and Barry here for a short time. And uh, however, they will be coming back in uh, August. So make sure if you don't get on the on the list this time, that you can for next time. All right? Wonderful. Okay. All right. We are going to sing a little song. Since you all sang so well <laughs> last week, we're going to do it again this week. And uh, this is a this is something that that uh, Spirit kind of imparted with me and it's to start out at the beginning of the day and so those of you who are following us on YouTube feel free to use this every morning if you like so um, it is called the awesome song okay <laughs> so y'all just just get in with me and, and help me sing it we'll do it we'll do a couple verses of it kind of kind of get, get us warmed up and ready to roll this morning ready all right it's going to be an awesome day, awesome, awesome, awesome day. Awesomeness in every way. It's going to be an awesome day. Oh, 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 awesome day. Oh, 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 awesome day. It's going to be an awesome day, awesome, awesome, awesome day. Awesomeness in every way, it's going to be an awesome day. Oh, 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 awesome day. Oh, 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 awesome day. Now as you go on your way, have a very awesome day. Victoria will, is going to come and do our service this morning, so here she is, my beloved bride. I love you, baby. Let me get the red lipstick off of it. <laughs> How is everyone? Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. The ones that you don't know me, I'm Victoria. I'm a psychic channeler. I'm also a grandmother, and I'm a little feisty. <laughs> That's just who I am. <laughs> this is going, I, and I'm going to have to ask your permission on this one. Uh, this one's going to be a very intense lesson. So, I have your permission? Yes. 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 Take a deep breath. Hello, hello, hello. 
She wore mascara that is waterproof for this reason. <laughs> a few weeks ago, her baby brother, Wendell, chose to lay his earthly body down. He wasn't quite 50 years old yet. He chose to do this for this specific reason. He believed that what he saw in front of him was real. When you realize that what is in front of you is an illusion, you will understand and take a moment to breathe. Our souls have a tendency to get themselves in trouble. Our spirit resides with the living one at all times. But our soul is what moves around this vast, dimensional, multi-dimensional universe. This dimension, as you can feel it through your anxiety, your angst, and your emotional upheaval at this time, is moved into the fifth dimension. We no longer live in the third. We surpass the fourth. We are in the fifth. So when we choose to live in this fifth dimensional plane, this is what happens to the soul. Oh my God, what now? I can't handle this. Everything is changing at once. My car is breaking down. I'm losing money. I'm losing my job. I feel pain. I feel anger. I feel intense emotion. What the is going on? To the naked eye, it looks like chaos. Beloved ones, it is not chaos. It is simply energy choosing to move and to transform and to fall in place. So you can live in the fifth dimension without feeling the heaviness of the bodily pain that comes with it. Okay? Now, you ready? Okay. Why do we choose to, quote, die? That is an illusion, by the way. There is no such thing as death. Never was. The soul is eternal. We are eternal. Remember, loved ones, we are the living one. The living one works through us as us. There are many souls that come here for a specific reason only. And that is to experience intense, intense, they sign that contract, intense contrast. They came here to feel that they are left out. They don't belong in society. They are an outcast. They choose to feel this intense emotion so they can live through it and understand it is an illusion. And when they choose, some even take and make a conscious choice, I'm dying today. Some do not, as the brother. He chose, I'm not feeling well. I'm going to go on side of Kenny's car, go on side of the road, and he died of a massive heart attack. There are many leaving us at this time because the energy of the fifth dimension is not the third dimensional energy which is old dynamic thinking. Our new dynamic way of thinking is we are, I am. When the mind does not wrap around, slow the vibration down. When the mind does not wrap around the I am concept, it goes nuts. It gets in fear mode. It gets over emotional. It breaks. Therefore, the emotional body takes on the illnesses of everything around it. If it's watching and reading something about cancer, guess what? You just programmed your cells. If it's watching something about arthritis, common cold, it takes it in and it takes it personally. It leaves itself open to these entities, and that's what they are. So it behooves you 
to ask yourself, and you, you've heard this entity say it a hundred times, she says it to her grandchildren every time she sees them, what are you thinking and why? Is it beneficial for you to think in this manner? And if it is not, simply change it like a radio station. Tune it in to another station. Train the mind to only think what you want. Here's the flip side of that. I gotta know what it looks like before I get there. I gotta know what tomorrow looks like. What does that do to you? It causes anxiety, also breaks down the body. The only thing, truly, the only thing that you need to focus on is the feeling of it, not the emotion. Remember, they're two different things. The feeling of what you want. Please slow the vibration. <sighs> Concentrate on the feeling, not the outcome. The outcome can look a thousand different ways, but it is what you want because you recognize the feeling of it. Okay? So when the body chooses to lay itself down, the contract is over. Now, I want it clearly and understandable to where my grandchildren can understand this next statement. This is what happens to the soul. It does not sprout wings and fly away. When the body dies, the soul leaves and it sets in the seat of the soul. It remembers everything through multiple lifetimes. Okay, it doesn't sprout wings, honey. We are not angels. We, the angels, come to us. They are our protectors because they know what we are. And when the soul is sitting in the seat of the soul, it remembers all the contrast of many lifetimes. And that's when our beloved angels come and counsel us. And we may go to a different dimension, which we do. Some of us have. Many of us have. All of us have in this room. We do not come to the earth over, 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 over. There are many, many dimensions. Some, some of them, most of them, multidimensional. This is a seven-dimensional plane. Okay? We are in the fifth. That means through, the, through this planet, everyone is awakening to a I am concept, guys. Mm -hmm. Lower the vibration. Y'all are speaking too quickly for me. The vibration is raising to the point to where it will become the 51%. When the 51% becomes a part of this earthly plane, everything changes like that. The concept of I am, people will honestly and truly bring that into their, their solar plexus, in their cells, in their mind, and the ego has no hold anymore. When you truly understand that you are the I am, you are one and the same, you are free. Freedom looks like this. I never had a problem. It was an illusion. Mm -hmm. This is a concept that is a third dimensional concept. Oh uh, yeah, I see the bills. I see the weight. I see the loneliness. I see the anger. It's an illusion. This entity has so many people coming to her, male and female, mostly female. And y'all have heard her say this millions of times, when is he going to be here? <laughs> Stop looking. You're wasting your time. You are what you're looking for. And when you realize that, you match the vibration of it. You never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> they're, they're making that very clearly. You never attract what you want. You attract what you are. Okay? So if you're not liking what you're attracting to you, 
don't look outside yourself and try to change it. Look in the mirror. Because there, there's where it begins. Okay? So, let's stay focused. The seed of the soul does not sprout wings. It feels, it remembers the contrast of many, many lifetimes. And so when it signs another contract, let's make it simple, okay? The soul comes back here. It brings it with it. It lives in the holy of holies, which is where? Here. It lives in the sails. So when we have tendency to not to like someone, or not to like a culture, or a thing, or even a smell, that is a memory. And we are here to work through that so we can ever expand the universe. Remember, we are the living one working through us. So our choices expand the universe. We're that powerful. Did you know that? We are that powerful. Our words are, are that powerful. Okay, Edgar Casey just walked in. He's going he's gonna to simplify this. Thank you. <laughs> I guess they're showing me like uh, about 15 different dimensions here. I need to bring him in as one and speak as one. This solar system is set up with several planets on it. Several planets have several different dimensions on them. We have all been in every single one of them, even the one y'all choose to call Vulcan that is hidden. Mm -hmm. So the one that you choose, your soul is being refined, refined, refined. This is a reason for this. We are not going to just drop you off and say, figure it out. You are sent here with multi-dimensional beings. You choose to call them angels, for truly they are. They are your protectors. If you tune into them and speak life to them, speak death to one, you'll shut them down. Speak life to them, and you will hear them clearly. They are here to guide you through this dimension and that's what it is, this dimension. You call this a wall because you have made it. In another dimension, it is something completely different. All the reason this wall is here and it is solid because you believed it. You raised your vibration to believe that is a wall. That is an illusion. If you understand the concept of what illusion is, you could walk through the wall because you realize it's only vibrations. So walking through this vibration, the body that you personally chose, actually you picked it out. I want that one. That one looks sturdy. I'll try that one. Now, they want me to listen to this. It is your responsibility to take care of the body. Don't allow it to break down. Don't feed it and think that it is not worthy enough to be here. Don't believe the illusion. Okay. And they get on me all the time. I'll be honest with you, they do. They get on me all the time. Because I, I go and I go and I go and I forget to eat for maybe 15, 20 hours at a time. And then I eat one meal. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder why I can't sleep all night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they get on me. They want, they, want, they want you to be lovingly kind, but lovingly firm with, with your own self. Know thyself is the whole key here. When you're knowing yourself, it looks like this. I missed the mark on that one. Okay, I'm gonna choose differently. Some people call that sin, which does not exist. That is a real illusion. How can you say this? Have you turned on the news? No. 
because that is an illusion. That w it has to happen to change the energy. Yes, it looks like chaos. That's how you move energy when you don't allow anything else. The wars that you are constantly hearing about, yes, they are happening for this reason and this purpose only. It moves the energy of this fifth dimensional plane. Watch what's going to happen here very shortly. Some of you will see it in this lifetime. This one will not because she's almost 60. But a lot of you will. And the veils do come off. Now, let's, let's get quiet here because they're downloading a little bit more about the body. When the body walks the earth, we have a lot of fun with it, don't we? We, we get to feel the emotions of being hugged, kissed, made love to. We get to feel the emotions of dancing. We get to feel the breeze going through our hair. Do not take this for granted. Okay, this is very important. Don't take this for granted. Feel it. Feel your emotions fully so you can understand yourself. And when you have an emotion that is breaking you or you're constantly telling the story of it, that means you're not over it. That means you're still dwelling on what is back here. This entity will say this a thousand times in a thousand different ways. The past does not exist, only in present thought. Okay? Monitor your thinking. It's important. It really is. We're going to be starting in this church. They're calling it something else. <laughs> in this church. A youth ministry. This youth ministry will cater to the I am. And this church, okay, they call it temple. They won't they don't call it church. They call it the uh, the uh, my uh, ego doesn't like me to say this because it's embarrassing. The high priestess is in the temple. Listen. that will be gathered. A lot of you will be called on to help these children understand the I am concept. That they are walking living creation of the living one itself. They are the living one. And by helping them adjust to the fifth dimension, because unfortunately, a lot of our people, they, I'm not gonna say that, people are still in the third and they want to give them pills to adjust them. So that is part of our assignment is to help these little ones and prick the memory of what they already know and then give them permission to know it. Many of us have to give them permission. We have to give ourselves permission. We hide behind every concept known to man, and we forget to, for, to give our own selves permission to know what we already know. We are the living God. We are not the God, but we are the living God. And we're that powerful. Okay? They're wanting me to open the floor. That's unusual. minutes. That's, that's all I've got in you today. Let's open the floor. How can we help you today? I'm here to help you. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I'm thinking help about you today? the wall over there. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember that when scientists used to uh, study light as a wave, it would appear as a wave. Yes. And when they uh, would look at it as a particle. It would appear as a particle. Yes. And I often thought that it was just vibration so fast that it became dense that it became a solid. 
Yes. So yes. it was both at yes. the same time. And it I don't was know at the same time. Are, and why the scientists don't get that. Well, um, okay. The, the question they heard in that is because society has to be given permission to believe in both. They've been given a book. That's why they won't allow me to go to certain places to get education. They say, no, preconceived ideas. We have taught you to say a key word. We download it. You stand up here and do your job. So that's, that's what they haven't learned. They have not been given the permission to believe in both. How can we help you today, Miss Renee? <laughs> we love you, by the way. <laughs> um, I don't really have any need for help. Okay. Um, I think things in my life are very, very good. Yes. I have your permission. Yes. Then would you check your gallbladder? Okay. Okay. Got it. We will close that. That's what they were going to say. Okay. Okay. How can we help you today? How do you tell which souls to interact with? Ah, I love that question. How can you tell which soul to interact with? Pay attention to the feeling that you have right here. A lot of people's uh, souls energy will rush up to you. That's sometimes that's good, but sometimes that's bad. This is how you tell. When they're not allowing you to be yourself, they're trying to tell you what path you need to be on. This is what you need to do. Run from anybody that tells you this is what you need to do. Run. Yeah. This run. I would like to offer a new way of looking at this. It is your choice if you choose or not. That is someone that is telling you, I love you where you're at. It is not my place to change you. Okay, how can we help you today? Yes, sir. Um, I'm about to come to the culmination of a six-year journey uh, over which I experienced a very intense car accident okay. and have been very wounded. Uh, my trial is supposed to be April 18th, and I just want some guidance as to whether I should try to try the case, try to settle the case. Okay, that's a good question. This is how I need to read your energy. Mm -hmm. Say your first name only. Cindy. Show me Cindy. <laughs> trial it. The reason for trialing is you'll get everything that, you'll get everything to your liking. Yeah. You're, and you're strong. <laughs> You're not going to back down. <laughs> no, I'm not saying you back. You're like a bull, honey. No. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> I'm feeling the energy of some people that have sudden changes in their life with no warning. Uh, that can be a car breaking down, losing a job. Uh, it looks like chaos to them. That's okay. Breathe through the what you perceive as chaos. It is energy shifting and moving and falling into place and opening doors. But here's the key. Give yourself permission to walk through the door. You can't fail. There's no such thing as failure. It doesn't exist. Okay? They're showing me land. Why are you showing me land? Okay. This is for you. The land uh, is uh, uh, you're going to be sketching and what's going to be on the land soon. Yeah. Yes. Yes, blessed one. How can we help you today? Timeline repairs. Say that. Timeline repairs. Timeline Time repair. repairs. I'm a timeline repairer and I'm constantly tired. Constantly tired. Constantly tired. Give me a brief description of what a timeline repair is. Um, those that aren't in the fifth dimension, I am ending, I'm dreaming. Ah! Okay, gotcha. Okay. Say your first name. Let me pick up your energy. Jennifer. Jennifer. Show me Jennifer. Oh, Lord, honey. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're working like three different, you're doing three different things at once. Okay. How they heard the question is, how do I regain my energy? Is that what you're wanting to know? Yeah. Okay. They're saying meditation time a little bit longer. 
What it does, it realigns your energies and your frequency. You're constantly like this in your body, in your mind. Your mind, honey, needs to rest. Yeah. They, they didn't say sleep. They didn't say a good cup of coffee. They said meditation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else they can help you with today? No, everything you said resonated. Okay. We're going to close that energy. Okay. So when the body chooses to lay itself down, rejoice. Here's the flip side to that. When the body chooses to lay itself down and you have no warning, allow yourself to feel the feeling of it. Get angry. Look up and say, why? Feel the emotion of it. Because if you stuff that emotion, it's going to come back to you tenfold, 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 until you finally deal with it. And then you don't have, it's, it's not going to bring you to your knees every time you feel it. So get angry, get sad, so you can finally realize this is what, this is not as bad as I thought it was. This energy came here to experience intense contrast. And they believed what they saw. And they said no more. Contract over. Truly, this is the, the very words my brother said to me the moment he was. Waterproof mask. <laughs> <laughs> I am free. That's, that's 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 what he said. He's a 49 year old beautiful man with huge blue eyes and jet black hair, and he was looking for a good southern wife. Then why in the hell were you in Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> feelings of, I'm not enough. And so his soul is, seat, is seated in the soul. The seat of the soul. And he showed me the angels, and even my dad is up there, counseling him and letting him know, now breathe. It was all an illusion. And he's resting. Some of us have lost dear ones very recently with no warning. I mean, they just, sometimes they just give you no warning. And they come back to us in the most loving way. Sometimes it's grandchildren. When I first held my grandson. When she first held her firstborn grandchild, she knew who, she knew what was going on. So we never lose our loved ones. They, we do see them. We do get to hold them. We do get to laugh and smile and even get angry with them. We get to do all that again and again and again. For we travel in these huge soul groups and we learn and we refine and refine and refine. Every single one in here is from the same soul group. If not, you would not be sitting in here. That's why we resonate with one another. That's why when someone is in pain, we know it. We know it. So when little ones choose to go and their contract is over, Feel the emotion of it so you can breathe through it. Allow yourself, please, don't, don't stuff it down, honey. It'll destroy you. Okay. And then rejoice. Have a party for them. Have a wonderful dinner for them. For they have 
chosen to do this. It wasn't done. They knew. Their soul knew. Their mind didn't, but their soul knew. So let's get over the sadness of what we perceive as death. It is an illusion. It does not exist. We are eternal beings. So let's not take each other for granted. People you love, tell them you love them every day. But first tell yourself you love yourself in a loving, balanced way. Victoria, I love you. You've come a long way. You've gone through hell. You've walked through hell. And you're still standing. I'm very proud of you. Quit getting down on yourself because you're not a size two. Come on. Real? <laughs> Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Okay? They're, they want a couple more questions here. Jack. I don't know. Okay. What was what the message? message did I have? Yeah, what message did you have for her? That's why we called it. It's time to start teaching him. Yeah. You and Crystal need to get together. <laughs> You're about to get really busy. <laughs> Yes, loved one. Yes, thank you. Yes, loved one. The same question about my PhD situation. Yes. Do I even do it? Do I do it at UT? I know you, but they, they need to register with you. Say your first name only. Carrie. Show me Carrie. PhD. UT. Yeah. Are you starting this fall? Well, the deadline is June 15th to get my stuff in. Yeah. And I guess. Any makeup classes? Okay, you need, well, you, you already know this, but I'm just going to reiterate. You're smarter than the person teaching you, so you're going to have to help them <laughs> and understand and not overpower them because you're going in there fully downloaded. Yes. They're coming in there, uh, depends what kind of morning they had. So you, you, when you're talking with them, you're going to, no open ended statements or questions. They can't handle it. They've met someone that is actually needs to be up front instead of in the seat. So you'll have to balance that in a loving way. Okay. It's a female. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna close that in. Okay. Yes. How can we help you? Y'all are gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> How can we help you today? I guess if I need to hear anything, I need to hear. Okay. Say your first name. Sherry. Show me. Ah, uh, Sherry. Ah, the fairy. The loved one. Yeah. The giver. Okay. They brought together a specific group of people today uh, that will be, uh, that will be, instrumental in the new church, in the, excuse me, sorry, temple, the new temple, in this, and it, you're, you're one of the ones that help refine how things go. You're in the background, but uh, you, you're going to be one of the leaders with your permission, with your permission, yeah, you're a high priestess, <laughs> and we got three of them sitting right here, so. <laughs> the same temple. <laughs> many, 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 many lifetimes we have chosen to go through many dimensions. A lot of them have been here on this earthly plane. So when we're here on this earthly plane, this is our journey. Choose joy. Seek joy on purpose. Seek it out. Have fun with it. And when something that does not bring you joy comes into your life, please do not run from it because it will chase you and it will catch you. Look at it. I'll use my beloved as an example. So <laughs> when this one is not bringing joy, instead of going hiding, face it, beloved one, this is not bringing me joy. Can we talk and... and can we meet in the middle? 
You make a decision as one. You do this with yourself also. This is a formula that is used. Don't run. Face it. If I'm scared. Is it the right thing to do? Then do it scared. Because once you walk through it, you realize, God, there's nothing control. Well, yeah, I had nothing to be scared about anyway. So if your life to your naked eye looks a little chaotic, Sometimes that's good. That means energy shifting. Because if your life is always like this, decade after decade after decade, uh, that's an issue. But if your life is like this, that means you're allowing energy to shift and move. Now give yourself permission to live the life you were supposed to. Okay? Have your permission? Okay. <laughs> You want to know what your purpose is? I want y'all to follow me. Okay. What is your name? Say your first name out loud. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Second, what do you do for a living? Say it out loud. <laughs> okay. Third, what is your purpose for doing it? How does it make people feel when you're doing what you do for a living? Wonderful. Wonderful. Joy. Joy. <laughs> Helps. Okay. Now, the fourth one is, download this place. It's Victoria. You know your name, you know what you do, and you know how it makes people feel. Now, how do you feel doing it? Does it give you great joy? Or is it causing you to live in a corner unseen? Okay, fourth, how are, how are you affecting the people in your life? So, you know your name, you know what you do, you know how you make people feel when you do it, and you see the effects of how you make people feel. Guess what? You just described your purpose. If you did not like any of what you were saying is you're not doing your purpose. Your purpose could be cleaning the floor and having the greatest joy doing it. And because of you, people get to see a beautiful floor. That is a purpose. Okay? So, you know who you are. You know what you do. You know why you do it. And you see the effects of what you do through the eyes and the feeling and the emotions of the people you do it for. That is your purpose. You're, not everybody's purpose is to stand here and, and or be a rock star. I don't think I want to be a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> Too many eyes on me. <laughs> but if you didn't like any of what you said when this one asked the questions, you are the only one that have the power to change it. So if you want to know your purpose, how are you affecting others? How does it make you feel? Okay. So we're going to take a deep breath. And they're, they're wanting to say an I am concept. So we're going to close our eyes. Say I am concept. We're going to close our eyes. And little one will say it. I am that I am. I am holy. I am love. I am joy. I am happiness. I am what I believe and convince the mind of. So it behooves you to pay attention to every thought that you have and monitor it. Because if you hear yourself saying the same story over and over and over again, expecting different results, that is an illusion. Focus on the feeling that you want, not on the outcome, because it can come in many different forms. We love you. You are always heard. 
always seen, and so it is. That one was a tough one for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad I got my superhero it mascara on. <laughs> my, my brother chose to transition a few weeks ago. And when I first heard it, one of my beloved ones was with me and I, I broke. You know, I'm human. I'm a divine being in human form. My human self got pissed. I was hurt, angry at the same time. And I had to get quiet and just get, get away. And I did. I went and got my bed, put my head under covers like a two-year-old, and said, I don't like this. And I allowed those emotions to run through me, and then, because of what I've been shown and trained for so many years, I knew if I held it inside me, uh, it would cause great damage. So I released it. And that's when I could hear my brother Wendell. I'm free. I'm free. This is the last text conversation I had with my brother. This is funny. <laughs> and this is the last words my brother said to me. I'm in a hurry. That day was an unusual day. I was not myself that day. I was walking in the walls, losing my keys, couldn't find my purse. And I walked out my front door and closed the door. And I go, my, my keys are on the coffee table. Only thing I had with me was my phone, and I didn't lock my door in the car. So I'm sitting in my car. My brother texts me, hey, sis, give me a call. Uh, I'm you know, doing the June travel plans. My son and I will be there. We love you. Give me a call. I text him back, brother, I just locked myself out of the house. I'll call you later. I need to call the landlord uh, and, and get, you know, get him here to open the door. Last words my brother said to me, sis, let's break down the damn door. <laughs> that was his last words to me. A few days later, my beloved and I are sitting at Cracker Barrel, and we were having a conference with one of our colleagues, she's a medium, and she goes, who's the big guy? Well, I have a lot of big guys around me. Yeah. But she said something that only she and him would know. My brother had a silver tooth that he just got fixed. And he goes, he's tapping his tooth. And I go, oh, that, that's, that's my brother. And she looks at me and she goes, he, he has a message for you. And, and I go, okay. You know, I'm sitting in the little cracker bowl. I got 100 people around me. <laughs> and, <I'm> like, <laughs> and I go, yes. And this is the only words my brother said to me. Go work your magic. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all that he said. So don't take anything for granted. We are never promised tomorrow because we don't know when our contracts are over. Our soul does, but our mind doesn't. And thank God it doesn't, because it would really mess us up if we did. Okay? So love yourself so you can love others. And this entity will like to say this one time, and you've heard her say it a thousand times. There is nothing outside of self. Temporary fix at best. Gets you in a lot of trouble. And as this entity said through Jesua last Easter Sunday, the kingdom of heaven is within. Let's look in the mirror, of babies. That, that's who you are, okay? And so it is. Let's have fun. <laughs> ah, okay. Anything going on for next week? Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Michael. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, I'm going to have a chair. I'm going to sit down for a minute. All right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, end this with a uh, a little a little song, and some of you that were here last uh, week uh, remember part of this. It's really easy, just kind of follow along with me. I promise I'll have it printed out for each and every one of you next week. But it's called uh, "Comfort Me," and I think it's very appropriate um, for the moment. So just kind of join with me. I'm gonna, it'll be "Comfort Me, Comfort Me, Comfort Me, Oh My Soul." 
and then we're going to repeat that, and then we'll go sing with me, and then we'll do speak for me, and then dance with me, and then we'll finish again with comfort me. And we'll have a quiet moment for meditation. Now I've got another surprise for you. Okay, ready? Here we go. Comfort me, comfort me, comfort me, oh my soul. Comfort me, comfort me, comfort me, oh my soul. Sing with me, sing with me, sing with me, oh my soul. Sing with me, sing with me, sing with me, oh my soul. Speak. Thank you. Oh,